Hey, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hack your SNES or NES Classic. Uh, works the same for both. And we're just going to be adding a couple games. Uh, I think I'm going to be starting a series. I'm going to do a bunch of these uh, just for 2019's uh, sake. We're going to get a whole bunch of these. I'll show you how to install RetroArch, install Brutal Doom, all the greats, have it boot directly to RetroArch, how to have an SD card to have way more content, or a flash drive. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's come out for these guys. But today we're going to keep it simple and just show you how to hack it and add games to the console. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to HackChi Resources here dot com and check out this 50 most recent submissions section and you're going to want to grab the latest HackChi 2 CE Community Edition right now that is 3.5.2 I'm going to click that and we are going to click right here download link go ahead grab it it's a zip file boom here we go we got it downloaded right there we'll go ahead and highlight everything in that folder and we're just going to make a new folder anywhere i'm just going to make a folder on my desktop called hack chi boom Open that up and drag everything from the zip file over. You know, guys, this is stupid easy to get this done. It is a walk in the park. So we got Hackchi right here. We're gonna go ahead, right click it. All right, and we're just gonna go to run as administrator. And once you got this guy open, you won't be seeing all of these. I've got N64, a whole bunch of extra games in here. Um, but you will just see this original games tab. Now once in here, go ahead and click uh, current games collection and choose which console you're going to be modding. So I'm going to be doing a USA uh, Super NES, but if you got an NES or a Famicom, any of these other guys, go ahead and choose those. I'm going with the Super NES and all you're going to do is go up to kernel go to install slash repair you want to flash the custom kernel yes now <clears throat> with your super NES turned off make sure the power button uh, is down or your NES make sure the power button is uh, not inserted to the on position you're gonna to want to plug the USB drive into the back of the console as well as into the computer and now when this screen pops up what you're gonna to want to do is hold reset up then push the power button and just keep the reset held up until you see this bar start to move just let it do its thing it is going to flash the custom firmware to your console. All right, and once that's done, congratulations. Ta-da, you did it, your console's now hacked. Now, what you're gonna wanna do from this point, we got these original games here. You're gonna to wanna to add some games. So go ahead, do a Google search right now for whichever console it is, either SNES or NES. You're gonna type in NES or SNES, no intro, ROM set. Do that in Google. Should find a website like archive.org Go ahead, grab the ROM set, and you're good to go. Once you got that found, you're gonna to wanna to go to add more games, figure out where you got that ROM set. Also, you're gonna to wanna to extract it if it's one zip file, if the whole set's one zip. You're gonna to wanna to extract it until you have multiples, um, one file for each game. So what do we got? SNES no intro. As you can see, I've got this set here. 
which is all the USA ones. Um, I'd recommend if you have multiple regions, just go ahead and individually search them, like however they're labeled, like Europe or Japan or whatever. Search, say you want to get rid of USA, search USA, delete them all, uh, and uh, and yeah, you don't want want doubles. So anyway, once you got your ROM set set up, I don't want to select all of them. Hold Shift, give a click there, and choose Open. All right, now we're still gonna select. We're gonna select them all. Where's our Super Nintendo Entertainment System? So here is Super Nintendo. So if you click this banner here, and then uh, it'll select them all, then you just gotta click one of the check boxes and it will uh, check all those off. Now they're ready to be queued and synced to the console. Now, uh, if you want to get cover art, which I assume you do, go ahead and click game and then go scan for new box art for selected games or download box art uh, for selected games. My bad. Make sure they're checked and then it will go through scan and get you box art for every game you don't already have box art for. All right. Now that that is done, all you gotta do, I'm going to go ahead and deselect everything. All you gotta do at this point is figure out what games you want to install to your console. So you can't have everything installed, at least for Super Nintendo. You can't have the entire ROM set installed, but you can do that for NES. They will all fit. Also, worth mentioning uh, there's this compress option here make sure that's checked for the games because that will save you some space in the long run and yeah we're just gonna choose the games we want and then we'll sync it Alright guys, so I got some games selected here. Just kind of selected a bunch at random. I'm just doing this as a test. It doesn't really matter. Let's do Yoshi's Cookie too. Oh, you can't forget Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. That's a good one. Okay, great. Now, we've got our games added. We've got them selected. So we got the original games as well as some custom games here. Um, custom SNES games. What you're going to want to do is click uh, Structure go down to maximum games per page folder I recommend going to 45 if you're doing a ton uh, any more than that it becomes unstable so do not do that just go ahead and choose 45 and we're just gonna go automatic here you can play around this is just how they will be structured once you boot up into the OS of your console so there is that and if you're wondering how I have these separated by console that's all in view you go sort games by system all right now all we got to do is go ahead synchronize selected games and that's it we've added some games simple as that now I'll just boot it up and show you the sucker in action. As you can see, we got a custom boot screen there. Gonna go ahead and choose English. Make sure we got some game audio. Good, good, good. Hit OK. All right. 
So as you can see from the beginning, we've got Contra 3, Donkey Kong, all the originals, NBA Jam. These are, this is when we're getting a little weird here. Now we got Ren and Stimpy. That ain't normal. NBA Live 95. Now I just kind of clicked it random here, so. Oh, that's a good one. Secret of Mana. Actually, no, it's, is it completely alphabetical? Yeah, I believe it is. I believe it is. Yeah, beautiful. Well, there it is, y'all. And that is how you hack your SNES or NES Classic and add a couple games. Now, we're going to be getting a bit more advanced in the upcoming videos. Meaning we're going to be adding RetroArch. We could set RetroArch to be the default dash. We're going to add my favorite uh, uh, port of a game ever made, which is Brutal Doom. Best mod ever made, in my opinion, for any game ever. Possibly my favorite game to play. It especially is at the moment. So stay tuned. We got a whole bunch more in this series. And leave a like if you found this helpful. Smell you later.